London. I'd now like to officially open the sixth edition of the Sustainable Food Summit. And the fourth time here in Amsterdam. The food from our figures is that the food being thrown away, the quantity of good food products being thrown away by consumers in industrialized regions is almost as high as the total net food production in sub saharan Africa. Yeah, my name is Robert van Otterdijk. I work for the Food and Agriculture Organization at the headquarters in Rome. Uh, specifically in the agro industries and rural infrastructure division, and I'm dealing most of the time with the Safe Food Initiative to reduce the global initiative to reduce food losses and waste. today was food authenticity, food fraud, the threats and risks associated with food fraud, how the food chain is uh, at risk in terms of food safety because of food fraud, mislabeling of products, adulteration and issues like this affecting uh, food safety and food quality in the food chain. The reason that we attend this conference is because sustainability has been an issue that has been arising all over the world and we feel like that we have to be part of what is being talking, know what they are talking about, you know, and, and share experiences from what we we, we also uh, know about sustainability. A lot of information. I think that uh, is what I like it from this conference last year as well. That you always have very inspiring uh, speakers. And yeah, it's a network definitely as well. I've been talking today about the future of sustainable vegetable oils, sustainable edible vegetable oils. So about some major developments in sustainable palm oil, but also looking into uh, other oils such as uh, soy and sun and rape, and specifically into developments on all these different kinds of certification schemes and labels and, and um, what is the driver behind sustainability from the upstream part and from the downstream point of view. In fact, I'm, what I'm very interested in this conference is that we have a lot of different, uh, we see a lot of different aspects of sustainability. We can see it, uh, tackle it from very different angles, which is great because it gives a, a good sense on uh, wow, all the possibilities which can have in, in this area. Uh, and uh, it's also very good uh, as a networking uh, opportunity to, to meet the different actors who, who can really help us to, uh, to build this sustainability strategy. I hate the word director. Uh, I like to take the world seriously, but not myself. Uh, so please call me the chief chocolate officer. Mm -hmm. I, I think that um, a standard is a mean, and it's not uh, uh, what we are doing it for. So um, if we are spending 456 billion US dollar a year on marketing, I think a brand should take responsibility of the whole chain. It's a very good uh, idea to. Um, to focus on food sustainability, it's an issue, uh, a global social uh, issue, but um, uh, I found the public uh, very active and uh, we've got a lot of questions as well and uh, a lot of people approached me after the, after the, after the session and uh, we, we've got to uh, get really an idea of what is happening in, in, the, in the companies and what are the needs and how we can respond to those needs. It should be seen as an investment, I think everybody probably agrees on that, but why is it then that difficult and why does the growth is so slow of sustainable movements in co-op or in other supermarkets? It's that still organic is 2 to 3% of all consumption and then we're not even talking about sustainable systems that's only organic. Again, I think what we're up against, it's, I mean, it's not us here running the world. 
Um, Isn't it? Yet. Since when? Not yet. Yeah, it's, it's today the end of the first day, and the discussion I like most was around the certification standards working more closely together. Because that's what we've been seeing, uh, that they've done a great job in uh, pushing up the sustainable agricultural sector uh, during the last two decades at least. And now we see a different age coming up there where they have to be more cooperative, uh, where they have to really look at the impact. And uh, we're moving forward into a new age. And I'm not quite sure how it looks uh, from close by, but uh, I do see changes in the way we are we're tackling sustainability challenges in the agriculture. Because we had very different topics that we were covering, the profile of the delegates has been quite different to what we normally have. This year we had a lot more sustainable food companies, organic, especially fair trade companies, and we had a lot more retailers who were very interested in subjects like food waste and, and uh, minimising food loss in the retail trade.